And um, she's basically saying the only way we're going to have our peace is that we take down X. And Zero's saying, okay, I'll do that. Just tell me where he is. But she's saying, I, we, we can easily send you there, but we haven't cracked their code yet for their security system, so you can't really travel there. And in comes a mysterious little light. I should be reading this, because... <laughs> Since you can't hear this, I mean see this. I've cracked the security system of the trans server. I'm so sorry that it took so long. But now you can enter Neo Arcadia whenever you want. You, you're the one who gave me the Z Saber to me. Now go, terminate that copy of me. Terminate with extreme prejudice. Wait, who are you? It's not possible. Did he say that I can now use the trans server? Yes, he did. I'm going now. Take care. Zero, head for the trans server. You can trust us to protect this place. Good luck, Zero. So from here... If you ever plan to play this game, this is the point where you go and take care of any like last minute searching because once you go there, it locks you into that place and you have to beat it or restart. Hopefully you, re you saved it twice so that you can go back to a later point before you did the fight with the, the monkey. But if you didn't, that's it. You're, you're set in. This is the last little push. And the most annoying part of this whole game. This is where I struggle the most. I think only up until the last boss I couldn't finish it. But that was when I was, what, 10 years old playing this game? Thing you're not seeing too because uh, I just attacked a robot that looked like a dog but is not a dog I mean I've been attacking a lot of animals but not, not by choice and getting frustrated Part 
plan. Good. So it isn't a Mega Man game if you don't have <laughs> this section right here, which is the floating platforms that disappear. I'm trying to see where it starts. I'm running out of health again. It's all about memorizing where each block is going to appear and be careful not to get hit. game a little bit better because with X you didn't have, um, I mean Mega Man, you never had that ability to dash, so that meant that it doesn't give you that extra little time to just hang in the air. thing about I like about this game is that how the bosses if you look at them each one of them is an animal like the first one was supposed to be like an eagle the electric eagle and then I think the second one was a, a frost buffalo the third one was a fire elephant and then you have a electric beetle. Rhinoceros beetle, I think. Trying to get that slash in.
the good thing is that um, that beca because I beat this boss right here, it doesn't mean that before this I have to start all over again. I think that if at any point you lose before you get to the boss, you have to start all the way from the beginning. That meant starting all the way at the bottom and fighting those two little mini bosses before I got to this guy. And that kind of sucks just because that, that's you having to constantly go through that over and over again. I thought you would like um, Leviathan, the sea girl. Um, so that what you saw right there, these big ones are babies. And in order for them to be adults, you have to feed them money, energy, and they become adult. And if, now because I did that, that means that I can add them to my team. But I'm not going to because, again, I'm going to make this so that I, I don't... ...use any of these because, again, that goes back to the idea that I'm going to have to kill these guys. But... Um, these three would have really helped me just because they increase my health so that means I can fight a little bit more but again I'm not gonna do it like this one could have healed me completely during a battle sub tank how to be faster, stronger defense, help me with climbing. And I think this one just um, help a little bit with the battle. But again, I'm not going to be using those because, trust me, it, it's sad. They, they, they don't come back. <sighs> Save again. This is just going to get harder and harder. This one's gonna go a little bit longer just because I am. Um, I think I'm gonna finish it today. Sorry, just checking some things. Okay, ah. Uh, uh, ah, two, three.
I think this is this section is the hardest part for me. Was the hardest part for me. Just because of the boss. I think this is the only instance when you have the boss not having any weakness. And it's just you memorizing the attack patterns and just staying alive. Spikes are my enemies, don't let them touch you. <laughs> eh, see, there you go. <laughs> you don't want to do that. That's the real sucky part about these games, is that they make your only real true weakness spikes. My favorite part of this game is being able to wall jump and they're pretty much making it impossible for you to do that in this, this section. A waiting game. Stop it. Ha <laughs> ah. ha. The sad part is I'm not even at the boss yet. That's the real hard part. No, 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 okay, good. <laughs> Damn it. 
Mantap. Slug, just get lost. Four lives. All good, all good. I have to do it on this one because I, uh, there's still just, I think, one more section and I need all those lives because if, if not, it's just going to be a constant coming back to the... doing the whole thing all over again. Come to ye yellow, I think. <sighs> Jeez. No. 
<laughs> oh, Jesus. <sighs> Only two lies. No good. No bueno. <laughs> <laughs>